Good morning, everyone. It is super early in the morning. I am going to put some chicken in the crock pot and make something delicious. We all love chicken parmesan, so I'm going to do it in the crock pot and give it some delicious flavors. Now, we're not going to have that crusted chicken that we love, but the chicken will be in the crock pot absorbing all of those Italian flavors that we're going to give it. You guys ready? Go ahead and grab your six quart crock pot and let's put this one together. What's not to love about chicken parmesan? You've got your chicken, you've got mozzarella cheese, you've got Italian seasonings, garlic, and can't forget our favorite pasta sauce. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna place our chicken breast, and I've got about two pounds here, just thick chicken breast. We're gonna put these into the bottom of the crock pot. As I'm placing it into the crock pot, I'm gonna season these with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. So just lay them in the bottom of your crock pot. This will definitely feed a family of four and you'll probably have leftovers. With the high cost of eating out these days, you can just throw everything in the crock pot, have a wonderful meal at night, and not have to worry about those costs. All right, let's take some salt. We're gonna sprinkle the top side, pepper, give it some flavor. It's gotta cook. We want it to taste delicious. Garlic powder, I'm just gonna sprinkle it over the top. I'm going to do the same with the Italian seasoning. Now you should probably put some oil on the bottom of your crock pot, but since I didn't, I'm going to go ahead and just put it on the top here before I turn these over. I'm just using avocado oil. You can use olive oil. I'm just going to take my brush, brush the oil on it. That'll help the chicken not stick because we're going to turn these over and season the other side. Just gonna go ahead and put some oil in there, some salt, black pepper, garlic powder, Italian seasoning. Brush, make sure the oil is coating the chicken. Oh, those Italian seasonings and that garlic smell so delicious. Okay, if the sound quality is kind of off, it's because I forgot to mic up this morning. That's how early it is. <laughs> so I hope the sound is fine for you guys. The next step is we want to add our favorite pasta sauce to the chicken. So I'm using a Classico. It has tomato and basil in it, and you want about 44 ounces, or you can get two of the regular size jars. They're like 24 ounces. Just pour it all over your chicken. Okay, what we're gonna do now is place a lid on the crock pot. We're gonna cook this on high for four hours or on low for six to eight hours. Now, don't peek. <laughs> Let it cook in steam for that amount of time. Every time you take the lid off, it adds more time, okay? We want our chicken to be nice and fork tender. So when that time is up, take your fork and go into the chicken and just twist it. And if it just pulls right apart, the chicken is done. Then we're going to finish this up Parmesan style. Okay, so the chicken is almost done. What we're going to do is go ahead and start pre-cooking the pasta. I've got a large pot of boiling water. I'm going to add one pound of whatever favorite pasta you have. I'm using rotini. The first thing I'm going to do is add in some salt for flavor, about one tablespoon. I'm going to stir this for one minute. That will help the pasta from sticking. Now we're going to cook this per the directions on the back of the package, and then we're going to drain it. Okay, the pasta is cooking back behind me, so while that's happening, we're gonna go ahead and take our chicken that is cooked and nice and tender out of the crock pot and chop it up. It smells like an Italian restaurant in here. Four or five hours of that. Oh, people aren't gonna be able to stand it. Drain some of the sauce off before you put it on your cutting board, that way it's not swimming. 
on your cutting board. Now you can shred the chicken or you can slice the chicken. You can cut it into cube shapes. That's fine. Oh, look how tender that is. It's just falling apart. Nice big pieces. Okay, we're gonna take the cut chicken, we're gonna put it back into the crock pot, just on one side. Okay, I've drained the pasta very well. We're just gonna add that to the sauce and the chicken. All right, we're gonna blend this all together carefully. You don't wanna splatter yourself. Once you get it all mixed, we're gonna flatten it down in the crock pot. Now, our crock pot is still on. Okay, now what we're gonna do is add the cheese. I've got mozzarella cheese that's shredded. We're gonna sprinkle that across the top. And then it's called Parmesan chicken for a reason. <laughs> we're gonna be placing some Parmesan cheese shredded on top of the mozzarella. Now to give it a little crunch that you expect on a Parmesan chicken, I'm gonna put a little bit of panko crumb on top. And then season that with some Italian seasoning blend. Okay, I'm gonna place the lid on. We're gonna let this sit here while it's still on and melt the cheese on top for about five minutes. You can't beat this for an easy Italian dinner. Slow cooked in your crock pot. Simple ingredients. I'm gonna go in and take a bite for you. Oh, we're gonna start with that big bite of chicken that is so tender. <laughs> Added some pasta to this bite. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. It's got delicious Italian flavors in there. Oh my gosh, you guys. You need to give this one a try. If this makes too much for you, you can always have this recipe. It is not a problem at all. Okay, give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and that bell notification. It's very important. That bell notification will notify you anytime one of my videos comes out and you won't miss something like this one here. I will see you on my next episode. Mm.